morning. I have slacked on vlogging. I know that. And I'm trying to get back in track with it. And I will have caught up by now that you're seeing this. But I just want to apologize again. But I am up pretty early. It's like 6.15 on a Saturday. It's a Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. But there is good reason to get me out of bed this early and up and dressed and ready to be out the door. I am going to goat yoga this morning at Frog Pond. So can't think of a better way to kick off the long weekend than to get some exercise, be out in the fresh air, it's nice weather, get away from the construction here a little bit and play with baby goats. So I'm not sure how much I will be able to film there or not, just out of respect for other people attending, but I will try and definitely will film a little bit of the baby goats. So let's get going. I will link them um, in the description box down below. I'm not sure that they'll be doing goat yoga um, again, like very soon or not, but they are like um, a farm store that sells like goat fudge, which I had picked up at the Youngstown Flea when I went there before. It's delicious. And they have like body products made out of goat's milk and things too. So I will link them in the description box down below so you can shop them. Um, they do have like certain hours that they are open, like touring wise. But like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to be doing the yoga thing again. But I am going to get going and I will check back in with you when I'm there. I'm back from goat yoga. I feel wonderful and very relaxed. And I think I'm gonna carry that through and just try and relax maybe the rest of the day. Um, I picked up some of their fudge. My mom came and stole two pieces out of it already, but their fudge is absolutely delicious. It's made with the goat milk. Um, so good. So I might dive into that after a while, what she left me. Um, and how cute were those goats? I just wanted to bring one home, bring them all home. I want goats so bad, easily distracted by goats. Um, yeah, and I forgot to mention my shirt. I got this on Etsy, um, drink wine, pet dogs, do yoga. So I don't know if the exact one's still available. I've had it for a while, but I will link the Etsy shop down below so you can see, um, she had some other cute designs and things too. There is one that says easily distracted by goats, so I might have to order that. And yeah, I think that is the day, but there was no better way to start the day. It was worth getting up early to see all them. I didn't film um, there. It was kind of a small class. There was only like eight of us that went. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable filming with only eight people there. I don't know, it seemed weird. I thought they'd look at me like I was crazy or something, but sometimes making these vlogs too, I do feel like people look at you like when you're walking around in the antique stores even or patities or something and you're filming and I don't know. I feel weird sometimes, but I do it anyway. But I didn't film today. It was just I couldn't. I I don't know, but wonderful class. I would definitely go again. So um, like I said, I will link frog pond farm down in the description box and i'll link my top and check them out and if nothing else they've got like beauty products like lotions and things from the goat milk and their fudge is just absolutely delicious so i am going to go and relax and i will check back in with you tomorrow good morning i look an absolute mess but i'm in old crappy garden clothes work in the yard clothes 
and I finally got the go ahead to put those urns out front, even though the yard is completely tore up still. I probably should have been filming, oh, I look like I have bags even. Um, I probably should have been filming the progress as it went, especially since it went so slow with these contractors doing the porch. But I will show you the progress now. Um, the getting there, the getting there. It is Memorial Day weekend now though, and keep in mind they started right after Mother's Day, so it took that long because they're so sporadic and when they show up or not, um, and then they'll show up and just stay for like a couple hours instead of just put in the whole day. And it's just, it's ridiculous and it's frustrating, but I'm close to getting done with this whole contractor thing, which makes me happy. And hopefully the yard will be put back together soon, which will also make me happy. But right now it is just a total mess. So I will show you the state of the yard, the progress of the porch, and I'm going to, um, get some work done today since they did give me a green light for some planning, um, planting in like the urns and a little bit of going across the front. So going to go from there. All right. All right. So here's the state of things coming out the back door. Got my urns there. All these poor plants need put into a home. They're going to be in the urn for the most part. I've got just willy nilly wailing hanging out over here. Um, blocking up my wheelbarrow, which I was going to use to take the mulch around front, but okay. Everything from my back porch is just kind of all over the yard. There's a squirrel running around. Always a squirrel running around. And I've got just wood and railing back there. My trellises are down. It's just a mess. Everything is all over the place. And it's driving me crazy. Let me show you the progress up front. We've got three squirrels here. I had to stop. I think there's going to be a fight. There's one like behind that fence, one in front. There's one over here in front of the car more. No, nope. maybe no fight. Okay, so as far as progress goes up front, I don't call this progress. This is the pile of taken down mess that we've got going on here still. But, yeah, you left the mess up here. Still, um, only got the down railing on one side, but he did have to build that in with the cement. So I wanna get my urns in today. My stuff's all in the front yard still, so hopefully that gets put back together today. We shall see. Great, hello. Well, I have just gotten an exciting shipment today. I ordered some new like summer dresses and they came today earlier than expected. So I just got done steaming them and to get like the wrinkles out. Um, standing here looking over, I could see I missed a few spots, but that'll be all right. Um, but yeah, I decided to share with you. So let me show you what I got and then we'll try them on. So I've gotten four new summer dresses here. You can see um, they're all like midi length or longer. I think this one on the end here is gonna go all the way to the floor, but I'm loving the print in it. It's like orange and pink and gold and it's like a silky material. I am just loving that. The halter neck. Um, the next one's like an orange house dress that I got that's belted. And I got this cotton linen blend one that's like a botanical print and then um, a tank wrap dress that's um, got a little bit of a split knit. So we will see how that works out. And yeah, let's go try them on. All right, so first dress of the haul. Let me flip you around. I don't know if I'm so sold on this one. Um, it's cute. I like the little wrappy thing, um, though it is kind of high cut in a way. Um, but I feel like maybe it's just a little too body con for me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? This one might go back, I'm not sure. It's comfortable, but I'm not so sure it's flattering, although it could just be in need of different undergarments. I don't know. I'm not sure. 
maybe because it's just so different and not my typical style. I do feel like it's very clingy compared to dresses I normally go for that are like casual dresses or what have you. So I don't know. I think it'd be comfortable, but maybe I wouldn't actually be comfortable in it because of the style. I'd be so like pulling all the time at it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Might go back. All right, so now the orange dress. My mom thought I was nuts when she saw me get this orange dress, but it's Hermes orange. It's not just any orange. It did come with a tie. I mean, it's nothing like this. It's nothing, it's not even flattering, but it did come with a tie belt, which I guess you could use, but I would probably put that in my hair for something instead, tie it down or something I don't know but I wouldn't use that so um the reason for the orange is it's Hermes orange though so it works it just works so I threw on my Orion sandals and I think instead of a tie belt a great H belt makes all the difference in the world I've got my bracelet. I guess I could have went through the loops up there more. Let's see. I know I have a waist. It's flattering. It's comfortable. And it went with my Hermes bracelet. And I think my mom's crazy for thinking that I wanted an orange dress because just look at it. It's perfect for just being around the house, like the old lady kind of house dresses that have become so comfortable to me, and it's just perfect. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. All right, I think that this dress, with its halter, it's backless, you can't see it good. I need to figure out some way to hold the camera better. Um, This, has got to be my favorite. It still had those touches of orange in it, so I left the um, Hermes bracelet on. But look at it, down to the floor. I could see my clothes sticking out. I didn't get them in the dresser good. And Coco's admiring it as well. And I threw on my white Jack Rogers with it. Like, I can just see this dress needs a vacation. This dress needs to be having dinner on the beach. Moonlit dinner on the beach. That is what this dress is screaming to me. I love it. It has got to be my absolute favorite out of this entire shipment. I don't know how much use it's gonna get though, and that is sad. That's sad. Could throw a belt on with it, but it doesn't even need it. It just it's like a dream. It is the perfect beachy summer vacation dress. It makes me want to get online and try and book something. Let me know down in the comments which one's been your favorite so far. All right, this last dress, the print is a little different than I expected it to be. Um, it said botanical, but it didn't look quite so tropical as it is, but it still works. And I like the colors. I think it'll be really good transitioning like at the end of summer into fall, even though it's tropical as well. Um, but yeah, I just, it's very comfortable too. Little wrinkles showing in it, even though I steamed it. But I think that's probably because it's a linen cotton blend and it's June, but it has been a little unseasonably chilly still so far, so. I think the reason that it would work good going into fall is because of the color palette and it would just work with like colder pieces, I guess. Like I could see styling this up with like closed toe flats and a cardigan over it and the brown belt just adds something and defines the waist. So I just think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this one as well, or right now even. It doesn't have to be. It is cold enough now in June to be wearing a cardigan. So, yeah, that was my first 
probably not last, but first summer dress haul so far. And let me know if you're as addicted to dresses in the summer as I am and what you've picked up and where you've been picking them up. I still don't like this camera angle either. I need to figure out something for try-ons. I really do. Um, we'll work on it. Okay. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments. All right. Now that we've tried all those on, I've inserted the clips before this. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I know which one was mine. The one that's calling me to the beaches for sure. And my least favorite was the bodycon one. So, Rank them for me down in the comments, which ones you liked best, and I will link them all for you in the description box, should you be interested in purchasing any of them yourself, but definitely a good start on a summer dress wardrobe. And as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It's an extra one I'm gonna go up this week because I'm trying to get caught up back on track with vlogging so next week I'll be back on the Tuesday schedule but make sure to hit the subscribe button to get notification when they're uploaded and I will see you next week.